All right, man, torch it up. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good people. Good morning, good morning. I'm back, baby. The king is back, baby. Fucking okay, king is back. Good morning to y'all, man. I'm so happy to be back. You know what it is. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. So look, man, the Joker had me on a hiatus, but... I'm happy to see y'all, man. Good morning. I'm back in the studio. You know what it is, man. I'm back from my people. I'm back here with y'all. I'm so happy. Had to get rid of that dude. Ain't gonna be no more of that. I ain't jumping up, running. I ain't doing all that. You know what I'm saying? But I'm back, baby. Look. So here's here's the thing. So this morning, today's episode, DeMar DeRozan, Drake has said something crazy about him and we're going to talk about this because this just solidifies what i've been saying about drake for a long time so we're going to get into that before i get into that you know i got to get my legendary spill <laughs> this is torture talk if you like the content please consider subscribing if you're new here let me work for your subscription today all the beautiful sexy ladies put one in the chat all the fellas y'all know where to find the ones that just don't harass them i don't sell no merch but i do have content absolutely free but if you want to leave a donation links on the screen cash app paypal is in the description they call me the hidden gem <laughs> i went from 1300 subscribers to over 12,000. i should be should be you know should be uh you know 12,100 real soon and let me know where you're from too i really appreciate that also too i want to say hey man listen we ain't always going to agree over here but we family and we might agree or disagree you know what i'm saying that's just that. And hope everybody's having a great morning. I know it was a long spill, but I'm happy to be back, baby. Happy to be back. So look, let's get into this clip, man. And we'll be back to discuss. You know what it is. Torture talk. Stay tuned, locked in or with me. All right, so let's get it, man. This come courtesy of the Ville. You know what it is. We love the Ville over here. So let's get it, man. <laughs> if you haven't done so already, and let's get into it, man, because this story is kind of big. So as you may know, the beef with Kendrick and Drake, bro, is not over, not by a long shot. There may be talk about Future and Drake, and even that might not even be true, but the fact that Kendrick and Drake's beef is still going on strong, clearly because the Raptors played today, they played against the Sacramento Kings, and they asked Drake about DeMar DeRozan. I guess Drake was in attendance and he was uh, speaking with the other announcers and he had shared his thoughts and sentiments about DeMar DeRozan's name being hanged up on the rafters. Okay, so my thing is like, hmm, why is Drake, why do Drake fake? Why does, why is he, why he, why does he fake like he, he's never, he's not bothered or he's never been bothered? Like, why is he, why is he faking? We know you bothered, bro. And this is what I mean by when I say Drake is not cut from the cloth. He's not from the heritage. He's not from the culture. Because of things like this, you're still upset about another man being in a video. He was in a video. And it's like, okay, I understand that you and him were maybe with friends or close. But okay, dog, you were in a rap battle. I have friends who were in the rap battle and they lost. We're still friends, though. You know what I'm saying? Even if I said they lost, we're still friends. But for some reason, you just, I don't know what's up with you, man. And I just don't see why people even follow you at this point. But we're going to get into it, man. I got a lot to say. Let's go. What if they hang DeMar DeRozan's jersey or his name on the rafters? And this is what Drake had to say. I'm going to play the clip right now. Yes, if you ever put a, a DeRozan banner up, I'll go up there and pull it down myself. That's the answer to the question. So Drake is... He was about to... He's so mad, he was about to curse. Because he said, if you were ever put the... You can hear that. You can hear. Let's listen to that again. You can literally hear him say... He about to say the F word. He about to say... Like, listen, listen. And he caught himself because he knew he was on national TV or whatever. But listen to how he said this. Listen. This is what Drake had to say. I'm going to play the clip right now. Sure. Yes, if you ever put a, a DeRozan banner up, I'll go up there and pull it down myself. That's it. his name on the rafters. And this is what Drake had to say. I'm going to play the clip right now. Sure. 
Yes, if you ever put a, a DeRozan banner up, I'll go up there and pull it down myself. That's the answer to your question. He so Drake is clearly not... He probably did curse. And maybe they cut that part out. Maybe he said, if you ever put a fucking Mark DeRozan, but they probably cut it out. But he sounded like he was about to say, get Mark fucking DeRozan banner up there. He sounded like that. And that's, that's what it sounded like to me. So let's keep it going. Messing with DeMar DeRozan. Now, this hasn't always been the case. Obviously, when DeMar DeRozan played for the Raptors, he was really, really good friends with Drake. He was a really great friend with Drake. You could always see him hanging out, hugging, dapping each other up, saying what's up to each other. And now that this beef had occurred, DeMar DeRozan has took the side of Kendrick Lamar. He's riding with the hometown. He's riding with the home team. No pun intended. He's riding with them more than he's going to ride with Drake. He's riding with them. He's not riding with Drake. And Drake feels some type of way. Drake feels messed up about it. He's still in his feelings about it. He doesn't like the fact that DeMar DeRozan... He doesn't like the fact that DeMar DeRozan switched up on him. He doesn't even like the fact that the announcer asked him that. Because as soon as he was asked that question, he came back with a little sass in his voice, a little upset in his voice. He sounded very bothered. <laughs> he said a little sass in his voice, a little upset in his voice. Like, no, nah, I'm telling you, that's what happened. I'm telling you. He's, he literally, he's literally, here's the thing. Drake is literally angry and upset. He is upset about this whole thing. Because for some reason, he still is feeling the effects. Not for some reason, but he's still feeling the effects of not like us. He is. And I think that he didn't know that this effect was going to last. Now, mentally, it messed him up. People can say whatever they want to say. But mentally, mentally, not like us messed Drake up. I'm sorry. It messed him up. Let's be clear here. Not like us messed Drake up. And I think that. You can see it by him doing all of these, all this backlash against everybody. Everybody, he has, he has an issue with everybody. You know what I'm saying? A real big, big issue with everybody. But yeah, real, real big issue. But let's keep it going. About this question. Now, obviously, you know, if you ask Drake about DeMar DeRozan, he's going to feel some type of way because that's a friendship that was lost as well within this beef. It's not just rappers that are no longer friends with Drake. It's athletes that are no longer friends with Drake. It's basketball players that are no longer friends with Drake. DeMar DeRozan was in, in Toronto for a long time, bro. And he was probably really good friends with Drake for a minute. Obviously, being in Toronto, repping Toronto, Drake has always been a basketball fan. He's always been a basketball type of person, always into the game. He loves the game, and he's been able to make friends with a lot of people along the way. Kevin Durant. Well, see, the thing is, I think Drake, I think Drake makes, he makes fake friends. He makes friends that, that he, 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 like... I think he's quick to call somebody a friend. You know what I'm saying? I was always taught that friendship is earned. You don't necessarily always have to uh, call somebody a friend. It could be an acquaintance or associate. But to call somebody a friend is something different. And I think that's why a lot of people are upset. But they don't really know the term of, of what friend of, of friendship really means. I think a lot of people are just saying, oh, they're doing Drake dirty. They were friends. We like, no, they really wasn't friends. He said they were friends. It's like it's like that it's like that relationship where the dude think that him and the girl is in a relationship and the girl says well he think we're together but we're not to really together or a guy same way you know what I'm saying that's why I think it is with with Drake and a lot of these people a lot of people wasn't Drake friend they probably didn't even like Drake they probably just dealt with him because he was around and they and they can use his fame or popularity off of they wasn't friends with this dude everybody knows that one of them always showing up to the embassy, always showing up and showing love to Drake. There's other basketball players that always show love to Drake. I mean, they were wearing OVO jackets at the NBA Finals. Like, he has solidified his presence in the NBA 
for quite some time now. And for him to make a statement like that is very ugly because it could be a possibility. Well, who knows, right? Who knows? Maybe they will put the Mars name in the rafters. I don't really think so. He didn't really do anything for them necessarily. But <laughs> who knows, man? Like, it was just. But that just goes to show you what, like, was these guys really his friends? Because if they was really his friends, right? Like he said they were. Why would he want to pull the, their name down off the Raptors? That has nothing to do with him. That's a, that's a basketball thing. I can see if he said, I'll never let him in one of my videos. But he probably has the power to stop them from putting his name up there. You know what I'm saying? He probably does. No lie. The question I believe that they had asked him, I didn't get to hear the whole thing, what the announcer had said, but I'm sure it was around the terms of, oh, how do you feel if they were to hang DeRozan's name up in the rafters? Because he said, to answer your question, I don't, I would, I would bring that down. I'll pull that down myself. So it was kind of like, it was kind of like awkward. It kind of felt like an awkward moment uh, for live television. I'm sure everybody's going to eat this up. I know for sure. I was like, wow, <laughs> like this guy is still mad. Like, you know, he's mad when he's still mad at the people that just showed up at the pop out. That's all DeMar DeRozan did. Oh, well, he came out of the Not Like Us music video too. Let's not forget. But still, it's not like he was dissing Drake online. I mean, he is online and he is with Kendrick Lamar and Kendrick Lamar is dissing him. But I don't really think it's something like, you know, that you could like, say like well i'm gonna rip his i'm gonna rip his banner down if it's ever put in toronto it's it's kind of crazy and then you can't forget about top five dissing russell westbrook as well put all that in the blender put all that in the pot and it, it just shows you how bitter uh, everybody still is after the beat look at this dude i'm gonna tell y'all man these dudes are really ruining a good thing and i think that Dudes like top five, clout chasing dudes who did nothing. He, ha he hasn't done anything to get to where he's at. Nothing. Nothing. He hasn't done anything. And where he's at in his life, he thinks he's, he's sitting on the top of the world. He thinks he's a king. He thinks he's, he's not a king like me. But he thinks he's one of those dudes that has some type of clout in the game. You are a fuck boy. He's always been one, and he's always going to be one. He's a boy. That's it. You know what I'm saying? That's it. And a lot of these dudes, they think because they think they mob tied up. You're not, bro. They're not. But anyway, that's another story for another day. But as far as uh, uh, Drake doing this to, to the bull or saying this about the bull, it just goes to show you what type of person he is. You know what I'm saying? And... This ain't the end of this. And this beef is going to go on for a long time. Trust me when I tell you. A long time. It's not going to end. And it's not going to end right right away. How Drake's team is after the beef. Um, but y'all tell me how y'all feel about this. I know this was very random. You know, random on a Saturday night basketball game. You know, you have them with the announcers just say this. So y'all tell me how y'all feel. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next video, man. All right, man. Y'all already know. Go we'll follow the bill. You know what it is. Yeah, so that's the thing. We got to understand. We're dealing with a man child. You know what I'm saying? This dude ain't about nothing. And here's the reason why Kendrick, to me, will always be better than Drake. You notice that Kendrick hasn't said a word. And everything he talks, he talks through his music. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Or something's music related. Anything you could think of, anything you could think of is through Kendrick's music. Anything you could think of. And to me, it just it just sounds like 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 Drake. This is how you know he came from a family where he wasn't never really raised like a man. He wasn't raised as a man because this is the type of behavior people like him display. You're mad because another dude was in a music video. You and him were never really friends, dog. And that's the female nature inside of him. And it's not normal being females. I want y'all to understand. Y'all delicate flowers, man. Y'all delicate flowers. I don't care how hard y'all try to pretend. Y'all still delicate. You know what I'm saying? And he's he he has female traits. 
He has delicate flower traits. That's him. I'm going to start calling him delicate, not Drake. Call him delicate. That's it. Not Drake. I don't care how much how, how he tried to act like he throwing up gang signs and all this, but you're not a gang dog. Just just calm down. If you're mad at a basketball player and you're 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 coming at a ball player, bro. Nah, bro. You're not no gangster. You never will be. So, but anyway, all right, man. Y'all know what it is. Twelve o'clock show coming up. I'll see y'all, man. I love y'all, man. Thanks for being with me this morning. Glad y'all could be here. Really appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? But thank y'all. See y'all. Peace. <laughs>